Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's your daily afternoon news brief for Thursday. The attorney for the UK student charged in the death of a four-year-old boy during a UK game has filed motions to suppress evidence during the court proceedings. The attorney for Jacob Heal has asked the court to leave out evidence regarding his client's breathalyzer test following the rack back in 2018. Heal had allegedly admitted to police that he had a few sips of beer before he then hit four-year-old Marco Shemwell, who was leaving the football game with his parents. The attorney also asked the judge to suppress photos of Shamwell's shoes from the scene, which he said were only used to garner an emotional reaction from the court. Heal is facing charges of reckless homicide and operating a motor vehicle under the influence. The Woodford County man accused of stabbing his wife in October has now been indicted on multiple charges. Officials report that Kenneth McDaniel attacked his wife, Katie, at their home in October. McDaniel was later arrested in Indiana and his wife survived but incurred critical injuries. McDaniel pleaded not guilty to assault but was indicted on the assault charge on Wednesday. And today is the last day to complete the survey which helps the Madison County Health Department in setting up their goals over the next few years. Every five years, the Madison County Health Department conducts a community health survey in order to assess the needs and concerns of Madison County residents regarding the level of health countywide. The results of the online survey are used to provide direction to the health department for the near future. If you would like to complete this survey, you can do so in both English or Spanish, which are both linked on WBONTV's website now. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.